Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add dip and strike data from an Excel sheet or geological map. We will use two methods for this purpose. First, open your Excel sheet. In this spreadsheet, you should have the latitude, longitude, dip amount, and dip direction for of the strata. Now go to the file, save as, and browse your folder. And now save is CSV comma delimited. Save. Next, open ArcGIS Pro. Go to the map and add data. Click the drop down and select pro, uh, points from table and xy table to point or you can select this tool from here as well so select your input table from here navigate to that folder from here and add this uh, dip data table here now also select the location where you want to save your data now select the x field and the latitude y field now click run so the shape file or the feature class has been created for your uh, excel sheet data now go to the attribute table and where you can review your data here so the x y uh, dip amount and dip direction all the data has been given in your uh, attribute table to give it a symbology uh, right click on the dip data right click on it and go to the symbology Click on the symbol now go to the gallery and here you can search for the incline bedding incline bedding now we have selected the symbol for our dip data but it is not in the proper uh, direction the symbol are not pointing in the proper direction uh, and also the, you can change the size of this symbol click on the symbol and go to the properties where you can uh, go to the layers and the no, layers and change the size of the point uh, the symbol i will select 30 now click apply now to give it a rotation go to the symbol and then properties and now layers scroll down it and change the rotation to zero by default the RGS Pro give it a 270 so we will make it zero degrees now to give a rotation to these symbols uh, based on our uh, excel sheet data field so we will go to the vary symbology by attribute now go to the rotation and select the field on which you want to rotate your symbols I will select dip direction now select geographic so your 
data will be correctly in the proper format and will be pointing in the exact dipping direction. You can see that. Now to label, uh, click on the amount of dip and uh, select the field and click on the label. Now you can also change the size from here. I will select 12. To properly visualize, I will uncheck the hill shade and the word topographic map. So you can see that actually uh, these symbols pointing away from here from one another. So it's actually the sign of an antique line. And here the, the the symbols pointing towards each other, which specify that this feature is a sync line. Now go to the uh, the layout. Select uh, check the formation, and now go to the legends. In the legend, the dip data is automatically updated here. Alternatively, you can use another method, method drop, uh, drag and drop the CSV file to the Google Earth and now select latitude and longitude field, click next and finish. Now yes and create new style. You can visualize it by amount of trip. This is not necessary. Now save. You can also change the color by go to the properties, color and symbol and then share it and now change the color it's just for the visualization. Now right click on the file and save, a, save place as. You can save your file in the KMZ or KML format. create a new folder so that we can differentiate between the tip data that we have generated in our GS Pro and the one that we will be creating in Google Earth. Save it. Now open our uh, global mapper. In the global mapper we will convert our uh, KMZ KML into shape file and that shape oh, and, and, and again that uh, we will open that shape file in RGS Pro. Shape file. Okay. Select points and now go to the targeted folder where you want to save your data. Give it a name, dip data. And save it. Okay. Now go to the ArcGIS. Uncheck the first one. Go to the map and Add data. Now open your shape file. So you cannot see any uh, folder here. So refresh it. Now you can see it. Open the uh, dip data. Okay. So your data has been added here.